So this video is about the difference between human hair versus European hair. You often hear about how important it is to get human hair, but what you don't often hear about is the differences in human hair. So the differences are here. With human hair, and this is human hair, it starts out as black Indian hair and is then put through a series of processes. The first process, it goes through an acid bath. It's then bleached and then recolorized using textile dye. And the end result is beautiful. But for longevity wise, because it's gone through all those processes, it typically will not last as long. Then you have European hair, which is on this side. It has never been through any chemical processes. It hasn't been acid bathed. It hasn't been bleached, and it hasn't gone through any chemical processes except to just tone the color of the hair. So with European hair, it starts off very close to the end result color. And one way to really tell the difference between the quality of hair, if you can get your hands on it, is to do what we call a strand test. So on this human hair, we're gonna take a section of hair, and if you were to be able to run your hands down here, it feels wonderful. The real secret is to do this strand test backwards. Hold the strand like this, and then run your fingers backwards. And notice how when I do that, the hair will start to bunch. And as I'm doing it, I can really feel the roughness of the hair. Now let's do that with the European hair. I'm gonna take a section, and of course it feels wonderful this direction. And now I'm gonna do it backwards. And the hair is coming up just a little, but not near as much, and it still feels very silky, even coming this direction. So that's a really easy way to do a quick strand test and determine what type of quality hair you're working with. Human hair will begin to tangle within just a few weeks if it's not cared for perfectly. And European hair will last much longer because it does not tend to tangle because it hasn't been through all those processes. And finally, the best aspect of European hair is the movement comparison. So I'm gonna take both heads of hair and hold them up, and we're gonna compare how they move. So we're gonna take this human hair and this European hair, and I'm gonna move them the same way. Notice how the European hair moves much more freely. It's much more bouncy. And actually the texture is just more fine. This European hair behaves much better and is highly recommended for clients with very fine European hair of their own. Typically, people with finer hair are of European descent, and so we always recommend European hair for fine textured hair clients, as you will be much happier in the long run.